Okay, so now that I'm pretty sure we're recording, um, let's do uh, the lecture introducing chapter five. Chapter five being introducing Ross. All the high level considerations of part one, which this text starts out with an introduction to robotics and sort of in general, um, have to be instantiated somehow. How do we keep track of the state of a robot? Okay, so you can imagine a robot's wandering around. It's got a you know, position in space and orientation, angle in space. Um, and we have to keep track of that somehow. Um, how do we do that? Uh, how do we implement a controller? So if it's open open loop controller or if it's closed loop feedback control, uh, how do we actually implement that? Um, is it a circuit? Is it something else? Um, how do we communicate among robots? How do we interface with a user? The answer is almost always with difficulty and with computers. We know what that means, software, okay? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to write some software to do this. As we saw above, assuming we've learned a little bit about robotics or about robots, robots are complicated. Can you imagine the amount of software required to run a given robot? A ton, not to mention the expertise in several subfields within robotics. So there's all kinds of different problems in robotics, you have to figure out where you are. You have to be able to come up with a, a plan to go from one place to another place. You have to be able to do things like grasp an object, pick an object up. There's to be things like sensing, vision, all that. There's, there's so many problems in robotics. Um, so all the software that's gonna go into that, if you were to build all of that from scratch for each robot, that would be um, an incredible, task. Uh, so in the late 2000s, roboticists started the difficult but important task of collaboratively developing an open source software framework that can be used to program many different types of robots called the Robot Operating System, or ROS, or just ROS. And that was the first paper that was um, uh, introducing ROS. Uh, originally, it came out of the Stanford AI laboratory. ROS is a framework in that it brings co uh, together code libraries, code tools, and development conventions to create a system in which individual applications can be developed. Many robotics researchers share their expertise and development work via this framework, which means, among other things, cutting-edge libraries are available to everyone. We adopt this platform, which is now ubiquitous. So uh, it's very popular. It's used by tens of thousands of different um, users and groups across the world are using this for um, research robots and also for, for uh, industrial robots as well. So that's the robot operating system sort of from a, the, highest, the highest possible level. Okay. Yeah. 